is very God. Praise you the glory. This very God. Almighty Father. Our very God. Praise you the glory. Oh, there. Amen. Hallelujah. This very God. Rest in the glory. This very God. Almighty Father. Our very God. Rest in the glory. To Amen. Alleluia. It's very good. Receive the glory. It's very good. Almighty God. Our very good. Receive. Amen, amen.
our Savior Jesus Christ, I love you, I love you, I love you, I He's coming in glory. He's coming in glory. Holy I shall see. He's coming in glory. All children of God can rejoice. He's coming in glory. Hallelujah. He's coming in glory. Holy I shall see. He's coming in glory. Children of God shall rejoice. He's coming in. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He's coming in glory. Holy I shall see. He's coming in glory. I want to pray for you. You have been having terrible headache and you want to be free from it. Can you raise your hand up? I can't show that headache. All that heaviness we hear in Jesus' name. And you are having pains in your shoulder, in your neck, and pains in your waist. I cause the pains. <laughs> Receive healing in Jesus' name. The one having forgetfulness, loss of memory, I can't fully be healed in Jesus' name. That person with terrible typhoid fever, malaria parasite, I cancel it. That constant fever, I can't That pain in your left side of your rib, be healed in Jesus' name. And I pray for you all that accusation by members of your family, I cancel the accusation. And the one coming for your directly for your husband, I cancel it in Jesus' name. I pray for you having a lot of miscarriages. More than seven times I bleed in your commissariages. I lose you, I liberate you, and I decree you shall never suffer that evil anymore in Jesus' name. That person that you don't sleep in the night, whenever you close your eyes, they give you food, they drink terrible dreams. In the name of Jesus, I cancel that evil. Anywhere they have taken your name to. Wherever they are making enchantment, incantation, projection, in the name of Jesus, I release you from their hands. <laughs> Holy Ghost, deliver that person, the one they took their name to shrine, and accuse you for what he did not do, receive deliverance in Jesus' name. Show that person a sign that I'm talking about that individual. Now, whether you and your family, they took your name to sign for what you did never know about. In the name of Jesus, I release all of you. <laughs> Father, give them thorough deliverance. Wherever the members of their family may be now, let them receive deliverance. Deliverance. I'm just waiting for that person. Holy Ghost, finish that work, perfect it, and liberate that person permanently from that terrible cause leading to death and poverty and hindrances in marriage and hindrances, consumption. I break the yoke in Jesus' name. Lose. Wherever you are, receive total freedom. Total freedom. That person that is getting tired. I know terrible tiredness. I bind that split. I cast it to abyss. I lose you. I command freedom for you in Jesus' name. And I pray that terrible problem in your mouth. You don't feel any test. In fact, your mouth is as, you know, bitter. You don't have test of anything. 
I command that thing be healed. I see be healed. I pray everything the enemy project to be cancelled or protect. Receive the healing in Jesus' name. You that be hearing voices, I command the voices to cease. The person that shot in the dream, I cancel that bullet, I cancel that death, receive freedom in Jesus' name. And I pray, righteous Father, whatsoever problem that follow them here, we never follow them out. That person coughing, I command the cough to stop. The one bleeding, I command it to cease. Father, touch them and liberate them from all infirmities in Jesus' name. Any of you that have been initiated, tormented by split husband, split wife, by marrying spirit, tormented by fallen angels, serpentine spirit, or by spirit, I break the yoke, I command freedom in Jesus' name. Spirit husband, Unclean spirit, Maduweta spirit, Obanja spirit, Witchcraft spirit, Cash fire, Come out and enter no more in Jesus' name. Holy Ghost. Anywhere you are initiated by the blood of Jesus, I cancel the initiation. All the python spirits, snake spirits, I command you every covenant you have with those ones be broken in Jesus' name. Father, I command freedom, total freedom, total freedom. Father, deliver them completely by power in Jesus' name. I pass a decree that no one that stepped into this place shall go back the same. Those that are tied by the enemy, oh God that I serve, whatsoever they have used to tie them in any shrine, any temple, any river, any kingdom, wherever they tie them and lock them up in the prison, that deep as I country, let them be loosed, let them be free. What is Holy Ghost go around anywhere they tie you spiritually, any shrine, any temple, any kingdom, any river, any altar, wherever they are mentioning your name, wherever they are put in prison, lose. Holy Ghost go around, lose. Bring them out, bring them out, bring them out. I open that prison in the name of Jesus. I open that prison in the name of Jesus. Lose, lose. Every chain and shackles your hands or leg, I break the chains in Jesus' name. All the prison door, I command to be thrown open. I command the door, be open, be open, be open. Loose. To loose. Bring them out. Bring them out. Bring her out. Bring her out down there. Loose. Loose. You will never die a day before you are dead. I lose you. I lose you. I lose you. Bring out, 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 out. Anywhere. Anywhere they bound them. Anywhere they sat on them. Anywhere they refuse that you should marry, you should have children, you should make progress, you should receive. Anywhere that's standing against you, I open the prison. I release it. Loose. Loose. Anywhere they initiate you. Marry kingdom. We shall have kingdom. Occult kingdom. Evil kingdom. Loose. Loose. Yes, today is somebody's deliverance. Today, today. This is the month of deliverance and domino. And you must be delivered. Lord. Touch that person, touch that person. If I count the number three, touch that person. Let that covenant, let that chain from the mother's womb be broken now. Break it. Every 
every association with marine spirit, spirit husband, queen of coals, queen of heaven, ancestral spirit, loose. Loose. I lose you, I release you. I lose you, I release you. I lose you, I release you. I set you free. Free. Loose. Fire. Holy Ghost 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 fire. Loose. Any kingdom, any shrine, any temple, any altar, wherever they are holding your image, wherever they are holding your picture, wherever they are tormenting you, wherever they are locking you up, I release you. I release you. I release you. I release you. Loose. Today, you must be free. You must be free. You wish Christ be catch fire. You marriage be catch fire. You ancestors be catch fire. You speak of death catch fire. Holy Ghost 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 fire. Loose. Wherever they tie your soul, tie your future. Tie your marriage, tie your conception. I lose you. I lose you. I release you. I say to free, be free. Three, loose. Loose. Watch us, watch out. Watch out. Young man, I lose you. Today, I lose you. Be free, be free. I plead the blood of Jesus. 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 Father, I stand against every witchcraft spirit, marine spirit, spirit of curse, spirit of backwardness, spirit of poverty, spirit of death, witchcraft spirit, queen of curse, python spirit, demon of illuminati. You marry me, you fight us, I bind you, I chain you, I cast a beast in Jesus' name. Out! Go! Holy Ghost fire. 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 Go! I bind you, I cast you to the bottomless beat. Out! Out! You snake, you python. You will be not, but I change you, I change you, I change you, Christ, I cast a beast in Jesus' name. Holy Ghost! I command the python to be slain. Let the angel of God whom I serve, Lord, be ready to slay that python in Jesus' name. Holy Ghost! Son of God, you have broken my yoke, amen. I am that I am, you have broken my yoke, amen, amen. Alpha and Omega, you have broken my yoke, amen. I am that I am, you have broken my yoke, amen. I was delivered, you have broken my yoke, amen. I find in heaven, you have broken my yoke, amen. I was a Libra, you have broken my yoke, amen. I am 
upon their head. Lord, I declare it broken. And I say them free. I claim freedom for them. Lord, I command freedom, total freedom. I declare them free. Bless them in Jesus' name. Can I hear you say amen? Shall we be seated? Bible to the book of Joel chapter 2. Joel chapter 2. And I read verse 32. Joel chapter 2 and verse 32. And it reads, And it shall come to pass that whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be delivered. For in Mount Zion and in Jerusalem shall be delivered, as the Lord has said, and the remnant of whom the Lord shall call. And also in the book of Genesis chapter 1, I read from verse 26, Genesis chapter 1, from verse 26, and it reads, and God said, let us make man in our image, after our likeness, and let them have dominion over the fish of the sea, and over the fowl of the earth, and over the cattle, and over all the earth, and over every creeping thing that creepeth upon the earth. So God created man in his own image. In the image of God created he him, male and female created he them. Let's turn to Psalm 8. Psalm chapter 8. I read from verse 4. Psalm 8 and verse 4. And I read verse 4. What is man that thou art mindful of him? And the son of man that thou visitest him? For thou hast made him a little lower than the angels has crowned him with glory and honor. Thou makest him to have dominion over the works of thy hands. Thou hast put all things under his feet. Let's stop there. In Revelation chapter 2, verse 26. Revelation chapter 2, verse 26. And he that overcometh and keepeth my words, my works, unto the end, to him will I give power over the nations, and he shall rule over them with an rod of iron, as the vessel of a potter. Shall they be broken to shivers, even as I receive of my father? From this chapter, some verses, I'm bringing to you the thing: the month of deliverance and dominion. The month of deliverance and dominion. We are looking at part three. Months of deliverance and dominion. The last two weeks, revival hour, we saw the causes of losing our dominion of blessings and the remedy. With this causes and praise the Lord take Lord so and we believe that everyone present that day has dealt with these causes and must have closed every channel through which 
the devil has, is, has been tormenting and oppressing our lives, hindering our blessings and causing us rising and falling. If I truly and truly done this, the rest are assured that permanent blessings, deliverance, and dominion shall continue to be our portion in Jesus' name. So in continuation of this message, we shall consider some of the areas we need deliverance and dominion on permanent basis until we meet Jesus Christ or until Jesus comes. So for clear understanding and benefit, for clear understanding and benefit, the message is divided into two subheadings. One, the areas we need deliverance and dominion surveyed. Two, our application and the benefits. So we're looking at point number one, the areas we need deliverance and dominion surveyed. In order to discover the areas, we need deliverance and dominion in life. We should consider some of the cases recorded in the Bible where the children of Israel sought deliverance and dominion and got it. So, take note. I'm going to consider the following scriptures to see where the Israelites, Israelites of old sought for dominion, for deliverance, and eventually got it. If you look at Exodus chapter 3, let's see. Exodus chapter 3. I read from verse 7. Exodus chapter 3 and verse 7. It reads, chapter 3 verse 7. And the Lord said, I've surely seen the affliction of my people which are in Egypt. I've heard their cry by reason of their past masters, for I know their sorrows. If you look at this place we read, we have discovered that the Israelites that have been under the bondage of the Egyptians and Egyptian past masters and have been tormented for years and they cried to God of heaven and God heard their cry and God came down to bring them out of the land of Egypt and I want you to understand that the same thing is applicable to we that are children of God if you look at that place, children of Israel means children of God. Because God said, Israel is my firstborn. And so I want you to understand, we that are born again, children of God, we are children of God. In most cases, you find that enemies oppress, attack the people of God. And the result of a crying, affliction, and problem here and there. But as it happened to the people of old, God came down. I don't know what we are going through. God has come down. That's why we are here today. And everybody must be what? Delivered. And you can have dominion over the enemies in Jesus' name. So the good news about it is that when they are in that trouble, they cry to God, God came down. And I want to let you know, God has not forsaken his people. He will always come down to deliver his people. If you look at this place, in Psalm 34, verse 6, Psalm chapter 34, I read verse 6, Psalm 34, look at your Bible. I don't know what we are going through, but one thing I know, this is a time of deliverance and dominion. In chapter 34, verse 6, and I read, This poor man cried, and the Lord heard him, and saved him out of all his troubles. This poor man, he was characterized with poverty. 
to the point that nobody knows his name again. His name was lost into poverty. And everything about him was poverty. This man was poor, literally, physically, materially, financially, and otherwise. Because when you look at what happened, he said, This poor man cried. The Lord had him and delivered him from all his troubles. Praise the Lord. I don't know the kind of poverty, whether spiritual or physical, in every area. And that could be the area of your deliverance in this program. I'm assuring you, the God that delivered the poor man will deliver you. Your case will never survive today in Jesus' name. So, I don't know what they are passing through. Are you tormented? Are you afflicted? Are you weak? The enemy has made you so weak, so much weak. And you're getting weaker and weaker. Nothing is working for you. My friend, God has come for you. This is your month. As the Lord intervened today, you shall be delivered in Jesus' name. And so, I'm just showing you the area you have need of war. Deliverance. And I want to let you know, you must be delivered. There are numerous people, sometimes, what they are going through in the dream is so terrible. And sometimes, somebody will appear in the dream or voice and say they will die. And sometimes they are dreaming of dead, dead people, eating with dead people, and seeing people that die many years. And as long as I have seen this thing, this, the devil is passing spirit of death. And he wants them to follow the dead and go. But in the Bible, not just dreaming of death, there was somebody God told you will die. And so don't, maybe you are sensing death. Maybe you are dreaming death. Maybe somebody is telling you he's going to die. You are going to die. This is going to happen. My friend, you are not the first person. If that's the case, that is the area you need deliverance to death. Are you hearing me? All sickness is threatening your life. Or maybe something is threatening your life, telling you are going to die. A strong man, a woman, an evil person, is saying, well, I'm going to show you. My friend, listen to me. None of them is stronger than the voice of God. Are you hearing me? If you look at the book of, look at the Bible, Second Kings chapter 20, verse 1. Let's see what happened there. Second Kings chapter 20. I read verse 1. Look at the Bible. Chapter 20 and verse 1. In those days, what Hezekiah seek unto death? And the prophet Isaiah, the son of Amos, came to him, whether to console him or comfort him, let us find out. And said unto him, Thus says the Lord, Good news, that you are going to live, you are going to be healed. Let's hear what God says. Thus says the Lord, Set thy house in order, for thou shalt die and not live. Can you imagine? If it was dream, it would have been a simple thing. If it was a voice in the dream, it would have been a simple thing. If it was a voice of the enemy, it would have been a simple thing. If it was sickness threatening you, it would have been a simple thing. If it was an enemy boasting, you are going to die, oh, you may not value him because you still have God on your side. But when the Almighty God sent the strongest prophet, one of the strongest prophets, and said, God, says the Lord, set your house in order, and upon that you have been sick. I said, put your house in order, you will die and not live. Where do you go from there? Who else do you run to the doctor? If doctor told you are going to die, that's a small thing. 
But if God is speaking by a strong, one of the stronger prophets, that whatever he says come to pass, and he says, say to your house, you know, that when you are sick, that you will not survive in that sickness, my friend, think about that. That was the message that came to Hezekiah. Say to your house, you know, that he was sick, and you will die and not live. Now, let's think to me. One thing that is very important is this. If you be a child of God and you are threatened by any voice or even prophecy came from God, the Bible said, whatever you bind on earth shall be bound in heaven. Whatever you lose on earth shall be loose. You have so much authority. Do you know you hear me? The Bible also said, the desire of the righteous shall be granted. And so, I don't know what is happening to you. I, I, I want to inform you, Hezekiah did not die in that sickness. Hezekiah turned to God and said, but I've been right, I've been living, right, been serving you with a perfect heart. And, you know, how can I die? As the lie, as, as the Hezekiah turned to God, God saw the cry, the desire of the man of God, Hezekiah, the captain of his people, and canceled that death. Praise the Lord. I don't know what you are going through. If you had a voice in the dream, you are going to die. My friend, you are going to fulfill your years. <laughs> that native doctor, that doctor said you have 50 50 chance. No, it's not for you. You will survive. That's why I'm here. And they told you that problem, that problem will kill you, you will not survive. I am here now say you will survive. <laughs> that is why this moon is for you. See you. That disease they are talking about will not kill you. <laughs> Enemy will not kill you. Devil will not kill you. You will fulfill your years. Deliverance and dominion is coming your way. Hezekiah did not die. And if that is the voices come, dreams of dead, dead people coming, voice coming, that thing is going to die, that is the area you need delivered to death. You must be delivered. <laughs> How many of you believe me? All of you here must be delivered. <laughs> Whether you believe me or not. Well, I'm standing here for you. Whether you believe me or not, my faith is greater than your doubt. What I say concerning you will surely come to pass. So long I'm not speaking evil for you. So long I'm bringing good news to you. My good news will survive the evil in your heart. You see you. Poverty could not continue. Affliction cannot continue. All those manipulations of the kingdom of darkness shall not continue. It see you. That disease cannot kill you. Because the disease could not kill Hezekiah. And yet God said you are going to die. He see you today. You will live and fulfill your years. How many people are still believing me? Is there anybody who believes my report? Do you know a man called Job in the Bible? The Bible says he was the richest man of the East. Very rich. He has sons and daughters. And when temptation came, in a day everything finished. And Job became poor and sick. I don't know your case. Maybe your family was the richest family before. But now, suddenly you became poor. And everybody getting sick in the family. And people are dying. It happened to Job. And when Job waited until the time came, God gave him deliverance from above. And God blessed the latter end of Job more than his beginning. He see you and your family. The former glory that was lost. The latter glory shall be greater than that former. <laughs> he see you. 
God will give you deliverance from falling, 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 and ending up in sickness and disease. God will deliver you from that. I said it happened to Job. You go to Job chapter 1, verse 12 to 19. You will see what I'm saying. I want to remind you also that there was somebody in the Bible, and this person, his name was called Jesus. Uh, uh, what do you call him? Praise the Lord. This man, not just Jezebel. Jezebel was also a threat to the people of, I don't know, according to 1 Kings chapter 19 verse 1. I don't know whether Jezebel is after you. My friend, God will deliver you from Jezebel. <laughs> Did you hear me? If Jezebel is 1 Kings chapter 19 verse 1 to 3, maybe you're a man of God, a child of God, Jezebel is looking for your soul. My friend, God will rescue you. Did you hear me? I said, go with the liver from the hands of Jezebel in Jesus' name. <laughs> and they want to seduce you. They want to destroy you. They want to remove you. They will affect. My friend, they shall not survive. <laughs> now, another person is Jabez. Jabez, his name was given because of poverty. Sorrow. Everything does end up in what? Sorrow. The father gave him what? Jabez. Um, but God changed the Jabez and made him an honorable man. He see you today, that life of sorrow, that's what brought you here today. It must be changed. Yeah. You must be delivered from sorrow, 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 and be made an honorable person in Jesus' name. Yeah. That you can see in First Chronicles chapter 4, verse 9. I don't know what we are going through. One thing I know. This is the month of deliverance and work. You shall have deliverance. You shall have dominion. In fact, you shall have dominion. In Isaiah, um, let's go to the book of Psalm, four, Psalm 40. Let's read verse 1 and 2. Psalm chapter 40. Psalm chapter 40, verse 1 and 2. I want to show you something. I waited patiently for the Lord. And inclined unto me and had my cry. Which means this psalmist was crying. He was crying and waiting upon God. I was running, running up and down, knowing fully that only God can see him through. He was crying. What made him a man of God crying? What made him to be crying? That made him to be waiting patiently for God. Like Job waited and not to run to a wrong place. That means something was wrong. Let's find out. In verse 2, he brought me up also out of a horrible pit. Oh, you can see the problem. This man was into pit. Pit of poverty. Pit of uh, affliction. Pit of problem. He was into pit. Horrible pit. I don't know the pit you are into. Whether pit of poverty or sickness or sorrow, any kind of pit that made this great man of God to cry and wait patiently to don't intervene. The same pit today, that God that delivered you, that God that delivered the psalmist, we deliver for the same pit in Jesus' name. <laughs> horrible pit. You know the pit is like horrible. Must be a terrible pit. You are coming out today. And he said also, look at it. And he said in chapter 40, verse 2, he brought me up also out of an horrible pit, out of a mighty clay, and set my feet upon a rock, and established my going. I don't know the mighty clay. I don't know the clay, the slippery ground, the rising and falling. Today the Lord will set you free. You shall be totally free in Jesus' name. So take note. I don't know the problem you are going through. In First Corinthians chapter sixteen, verse nine, look at the Bible. First Corinthians chapter sixteen and verse nine. And I read chapter sixteen and verse nine. Maybe you are among those people that God has given you good open doors. But enemies are everywhere. Chapter 16, verse 9. For a great door and effectual is open unto me. But there are many 
and her strength. I don't know your condition. Great door, effectual, is open to you. But enemies are on every side, left, right, front, and back. I'm assuring you, God will defeat your enemies. God will deliver you from the hands of your enemy. So that you shall have your way in Jesus' name. So take note. I don't know what you are going through. But the book scriptures, the area in which the people of old needed deliverance were clearly shown. They needed deliverance and dominion over the Egyptians, over Pharaoh, over persistent weakness. Over, uh, Elijah needed deliverance from the time of Jezebel, the widow, wife of the prophet, also needed deliverance. I want to let you know, some needed deliverance as a result of the horrible pit. Likewise, Jabez and Job and several others in the Bible, all of them had need of deliverance in one area or the other, and God delivered them. The same God that delivered them to deliver you. Amen. I don't know the area. I'm assuring you that problem will never survive today. Amen. God will deliver you completely in Jesus' name. Amen. That takes the point number two. Our application and benefit. I've told you some of the areas the people of old needed deliverance. And I want to let you know that today as we apply this message, you will go home totally free. Point number two, application and benefit. As a child of God, it may be that you are being oppressed. Please take notes. Attacked by the enemy. Afflicted by the devil. And the evil personalities attacking you here and there. And you're getting weaker and weaker spiritually and otherwise. If that be your case, you need deliverance. And I'm assuring you, today, God will give you deliverance and dominion in Jesus' name. Your case may be that it could be that depths entering into depths, owing this person, owing that person, always. Today, God will deliver you. Could be poverty. Nothing is working for you. Abject poverty. That you must break today. It could be lost in after women or men. Immoral thought. The Lord will deliver you. I do not know what you are going through. Deliverance and dominion shall be your portion. Your case may be like you losing everything overnight and getting sick. Or like Jabez, his life ends up in sorrow. The Lord will deliver you. It could be failure, failure every time, rising and falling. I'm assuring you, that is why we're here today. The Lord will deliver you. Maybe you're always provoked by, to anger by little things. You are always fed up with news of losses, of accidents, over your possession by Job, or poverty stricken, as I've told you before, or constant cases in the court. One problem or the other, from time to time, the Lord will deliver you problem with police, with government, with authority. These things are being afflicted, projected by the enemy. The Lord will deliver you. I do not know. Delay in marriage, delay in life, delay in conception. That you must break today. I do not know what you are going through. Enemies on every side. In fact, you have stick opposition in life, put hands there nowhere, put hands there nowhere, front nowhere, back nowhere, terrible opposition, enemies on every side, in the night, in the dream, today deliverance is coming your way. The Lord will see you through in Jesus' name. I do not know 
what you are going through, but assurance I'm giving to you, no matter the problem in your office, in your house, in your marketplace, in your family, in your village, the assurance I'm giving to you, God will deliver you. He will give you dominion over all in Jesus' name. Like he did for the psalmists of old. Remember we read it before. I waited patiently for the Lord. What happened? Answer me. Is it the Lord delivered me out of a horrible pit? Out of a mighty clear and establish my going. He see you today. The Lord will deliver you. I do not know what you are going through at the hands of people in the business place, in the office, in the yard, in the market, wherever, in the village, and after you, and they are oppressing you, and they are dealing with you, and nothing is working for you. In this place today, the Lord will give you dominion. Not just deliverance, you will be a master over them in Jesus' name. So get ready. Let's look at Psalm 40 again. Look at Psalm 40, verse 1. Let's see something there. Psalm chapter 40. Look at your Bible. Deliverance and dominion shall be the portion. Chapter 40, and read verse 1. Waited patiently for the Lord, and he climbed unto me and had my cry. He brought me up also out of an horrible pit, out of a mighty clay, and set my feet upon a rock. And what happened? And established my going. He see you. The Lord will establish your going. No man can bring you down. No witches and wizards can bring you down. You can have dominion. If you look at that place where it is, in verse 3, he has put a new song in my mouth. You will sing a new song. Even praise unto our God. And many shall see it and fear. And shall trust in the Lord. What God will do for you, many shall see it and fear. They shall trust in the Lord. They shall say, let's go and serve the God that this woman and this brother is serving. And I'm showing you what God will do after this program. Many shall see it. Your mouth shall be full of testimonies in Jesus' name. Of course, God went down in Egypt and brought his people out, which have been Egypt in 430 years. Is it a small deliverance? 430 years. And he brought them out and made Pharaoh to ask for their blessing. And made Egypt and to follow after them to leave their land to the promised land. Isn't that a great miracle that slaves were liberated and people of the land began to beg for the blessings of the slave? And not only that, the people of the land that claimed the ownership that were oppressing them began to follow them to the promised land, which is unknown to them. He see you today, your enemy will follow you to be converted. He see you today when the people that are holding you for many, many years as the power of God will come upon you, they will release you to worship your God. And people shall see it and say, look at what God has done. He see you. Freedom is coming your way. Deliverance is coming your way. The Lord will see you through. I don't know what you are going through. Evil dream. Enemy telling you you are going to die. My friend, it shall not come to pass. You will fulfill your years. This poor man cried, what happened? The Lord delivered him out of his, all his trouble. He see you today. The Lord will deliver you out of all your troubles. And you will go home rejoicing in Jesus' name. Your case may be sicknesses, demonic possession, blindness or lameness or deaf and dumb, or ill or nothing prospers in your hands. You need deliverance and dominion. Today it shall be your portion. 
Luke chapter Bible in the book of Psalm. Please let's go to the book of Matthew rather. Matthew chapter four, verse twenty-three. Matthew chapter four. I read from verse twenty-three, and he reads. And Jesus went about all Galilee, teaching in the synagogues and preaching the gospel of the kingdom and healing all manner of sickness, all manner of disease among the people. All manner of sickness, all manner of diseases. And his strength went throughout all Syria, and they brought unto him all sick people that were taken with diverse disease and torments, and those which were possessed with devils, and those which were lunatic, and those that had the apostles. And he healed how many? He healed them. Everybody here, no matter the sickness or disease, you must be healed. No matter the demonic possession, you must be healed. That problem will never survive today in Jesus' name. If you look at Matthew chapter 11, verse 4, Matthew chapter 11, and read verse 4, chapter 11, Jesus answered and said unto them, Go and kill John. Again, those things which you do hear and see, the blind receive their sight, and the lame walk, and the lepers are cleansed, and the deaf hear, and the dead are raised up, and the poor have the gospel preached to them. You can see outlines of what the Lord has done in time past. He will do it again. I say God has raised the dead before. He made the blind to see before. He made the lame, the deaf, and dumb to speak to hear. The lame to walk. He see you today. What God has done before, he will do it again. I say God will do it for you in Jesus' name. Don't forget. If you listen to the testimonies of today, you would have had some things that God did for people. That God that did it for them is the same yesterday, today, and forever. A, a woman said he brought the, the dead child, and prayer was made. What happened to the dead child? Answer me, please. What happened to the dead child after prayer? The dead child came back to. Now, is there any sickness that is more than death? Please answer me now. Is there any problem more than death? Please answer me. If there is any problem more than death, can you please tell me? If there is no problem more than death, then that woman's testimony is the answer to all whatever problem you are going through. As that dead child came back to life, the dead situation will come back to, come back to life. Everything the enemy, everything that you have lost hope, it can never be done. And I coming to you for years. Today, as I pray for you, liberation will come your way. Deliverance will come your way. Healing will come your way. And the dominion shall be your portion. Blessings shall follow you home in Jesus' name. I say it as long as there is no problem more than death, then all your problems are small, small problems. Therefore, the Lord will give you solution. I said the Lord will give you solution. So, as the psalmist and others in the Bible cried out unto the Lord and obtained deliverance, we too shall do the same today. And we shall obtain our deliverance in Jesus' name. Don't forget in Psalm 34, again, verse 6. Let's read it again. Psalm 34, verse 6. Look at the Bible. Psalm chapter 34. Read it. I've read it before. But I'm reading it again because I'm rounding up very shortly. Chapter 34, verse 6. This poor man cried, and the Lord had him, and saved him out of all his trouble. He see you today. The Lord will save you out of all your troubles. That trouble shall not remain. You shall be totally free in Jesus' name. I say deliverance shall be your portion. And the, the psalmist cried, the Lord saved him, deliverance out of all his trouble. In Psalm 50, verse 15, he see you. The same God that did it before, he will do it for you. If you believe it, say amen. 
Psalm chapter 15, verse 15. And call upon me in the day of trouble. I will deliver thee, and thou shalt glorify me. Is there any trouble you have today? Answer me. Any trouble spiritually, physically, materially, financially? Is there any trouble you are going through this day? Now, when is the right time to call upon the Lord? In the day of trouble. And so long we are into one trouble or the other, trouble of rising and falling, trouble of uh, you know, delay in conception, the trouble of barrenness, and trouble of affliction, left, right, front, and back. Enemy oppressing you, people hated you for nothing. And people after your life, so long you are into one trouble or the other, this is the right day to do what? I didn't hear you again. And call upon me. The promise of God covered the day of trouble. And call upon me in the day of trouble. What happened? I didn't hear you again. I will deliver thee, and thou shalt glorify me. I'm going to hear your testimonies. Because as you call upon God in this day of trouble, that trouble shall be no more. The Lord God whom I serve will defeat your enemy. We defeat your trouble. We deliver you from the hands of the enemies. And he will make you a champion. The Bible said, if God be for you, who can be against you? The Bible said, behold, I give unto you power to trade on serpents and scorpions and all the power of the enemies. And nothing about enemies. What do we call that? Dominion. He see you today, you shall trample under the sole of your foot. The devil, the demons, and all the works of the devil from henceforth. You shall be instrument to help others in Jesus' name. Can I hear you say amen? So, we are going to pray now. Please don't forget and call upon me in the day of trouble. Before I round up, we should also remember that our program is at hand on 25th and 26th. Don't forget, you must come and come with all your needs. The Lord will bless you. That which no man can do, the Lord will do it for you. 25th and 26th. Remember also, Mbudi 2021, the International Crusade comes up on 3rd, 4th, 5th, and 6th. Make sure you come and what God has determined for you shall be done. Remember the new year change of garment. Are we actually, are we going to change our garment today, this year? The old garment of 2020 with a lot of trouble. We're going to drop it. The new year, they put new garments. Don't forget, all this program are wait for you and for your good. Are you hearing me? So, make sure we this, use, this, we use this opportunity to demonstrate the love of God towards others by inviting them to this program and the Lord will bless you in Jesus' name. So, invite them. Remember, Despite all the restrictions, we are still told to have at least 50% of the gathering or have gathering outside where there is space. And so you can still invite them because there is a space for them. Praise the Lord. Only tell them to observe all the, uh, you know, the using of masks and also distance and also using, uh, you know, the hand wash. Uh, but make sure you invite them to come and be free from their trouble. The Lord will deliver them in Jesus' name. Can I hear you say amen? amen. What do we do then? In Matthew chapter 7, verse 7, it says, Ask what happened. Is I'll give unto you. Seek, and you shall find. Knock, and the door shall be opened unto you. For everyone that asketh, receive it. Are you going to ask? Are you going to knock? Are you going to seek? What are you looking for? Deliverance and war. Rise up and pray now. 
Rise up everybody. Rise up and pray. Put your mouth and pray. Call upon the Lord. This is the hour of my deliverance and dominion from all this poverty, affliction, and sorrow, and sickness, and disease, and torment. Father, deliver me. Everybody pray. Everybody. Call upon the Lord for your deliverance, your dominion. Remember, our service this time is just two, two hours, and that's why we are rushing it. And so you must come on time, so I will close you on time. According to the government, you know, instruction, everybody pray. Everybody pray. Everybody pray. Everybody pray. Call upon the Lord. Call upon the Lord. Call upon the Lord. Everybody pray. It is the hour of your deliverance and dominion. Mention the area where you are passing through trouble and you need deliverance. Mention it. The Lord will deliver you and set you free. Everybody pray. From sorrow, from poverty, from uh, attack of the enemy, from sickness and disease. Everybody pray and ask the Lord to visit you. That God that raises the dead, He will deliver you, He will heal you, He will find for you, He will meet your needs. Everybody pray. Everybody pray. I thought I bless your name, I praise your power. I give you glory, honor, worship, thanks, all adoration. Father, remember, O oh God, this is the day Jehovah deliverance and dominion. Lord, have us to let them you give us deliverance and dominion establish our people. Randa and Jimu Baka Sanda Yaraba, Rubu Koshika Yaraba Kataya, Seluja Marus in Jenny Compre, O Lord, have your way. Save and deliver and liberate your people. Lord, have your way. In Jesus' name. Name will pray. Call upon me in the day of trouble. Call upon me. I will answer. I will answer you in the day of trouble. Call upon me, I will answer, I will answer you, in the day of sickness, call upon me, I will answer you, yes, you have prayed, because of what you are passing through. Because of the trouble in your life, trouble you are going through in your head, and in your business, in your family, in your village, and the hand of people, God has made a promise that will answer you, and God cannot lie. Today, your answer will come. Before we pray, just keep your offering up. 